An issue here in the Valley, a new report from Axios gives us an idea about today's rent prices in Metro Phoenix, where it is still cheaper to rent an apartment than to buy a home. According to Rent Cafe, the average rental price in Phoenix is about 1500 bucks. So what does that really get you? Axios reporter Jessica Bame is joining us this morning to break down some of these figures. So, so nice to have you in studio. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for having me. This is a major issue. Affordable housing and, and access to that as more and more people are moving to the Valley has become almost a crisis point. Um, but the focus <clears throat> on comparing buying versus renting, what was your takeaway? Yeah, I mean, what we found is that $1,500 in rent, first of all, hard to find an apartment for yeah, that. Well, yeah. But if you do, you're looking at way less bang for your buck than you used to have. Mm -hmm. Probably about 770 square feet. That's what $1,500 is wow. going to get you in Phoenix, which is just, for those of us who've been here for a while, wildly different than what mm -hmm. we thought just a few years ago. No question. Does it change throughout the valley depending on where you go in the valley much? It does slightly. So obviously if you're looking in Scottsdale or Tempe, you're probably looking at about 670 square feet. That's what it's going to wow. get oh you. Gosh. In the West Valley, you'll get slightly more, maybe 840 mm -hmm. square feet. But again, it's a little hypothetical because $1,500, uh, it's hard to find that even. Yeah, and, and as we know, wages have not increased proportionately because this used to be the draw to come to Phoenix was, you know, yeah, you're coming here to this market and it's very affordable to live here. And that was, that was sort of, you know, why you would make a choice. Exactly. And now we're seeing some people who are getting remote work and they're bringing their San Francisco or LA salaries. Yeah. And these prices here still look great if you're mm -hmm. making that right. much. But for those of us who live here and are, are working jobs that are still stuck in Phoenix wages, it, it's certainly hard to, to find housing that you can afford. Yeah. And one of the other issues is so many people moving. I just heard on the radio, 100, 100 and 50 people a day, is that right? I mean, yeah. and, and the building just doesn't keep up with that, even though it seems like wherever you drive, you see There's apartment so buildings going up everywhere, but it's never enough. And right. so it seems that this isn't going to change really with all these people moving here. Yeah, I mean, this boils down to a supply and demand mm -hmm. problem. We have way more people who want houses than we have houses right. or apartments. Right. Um, and yes, even though we are building at a speed that we haven't in about 10 years, we spent about 10 years after the recession like not building we were very afraid to get back in the mm -hmm. housing game because during the recession we we had the opposite problem right, right. we had more houses than we had people right, right. and now we're kind of countering that and, and unfortunately our our middle income workers and our low income workers are bearing the brunt of this if you're using that benchmark of fifteen hundred dollars say uh, for the lowest price of of rent uh, can somebody get a mortgage for that in the valley nowadays well before interest rates went up you might be able to but unfortunately what what we found in another report we recently did is that right now 99 percent of the housing stock in metro phoenix is actually still cheaper to rent than buy okay. mm -hmm. so there's really no relief on either side yeah. of this equation mm -hmm. which which is putting a lot of people in a tough spot you'd have to put 99 percent down <laughs> Right. Well, if you can so, afford to do yeah. that, you're not worried right. about yeah, this, no, right? No, I'm, just, exactly. I'm just teasing, right. but uh, well, yeah. so what's, I guess people really have to look around, right? Just yeah, and, and I think, you know, one of two things has to give, right? Either mm -hmm. prices need to come down or wages mm -hmm. need to go up. Right. And I think that um, both the private sector and the government are working to try to find, uh, you know, to alleviate that on both sides. But as you mentioned, with more and more people moving here every day, we need to move lightning fast. And unfortunately, we're not. Yeah. Well, All so right. nice to have you yeah, here. Thank, thank you so much. much.